you're the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand. And it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. A cool thing that happened to me this year on the mission trip was our group was running a food drive. And I got to talking to this man. And we just talked about normal things. We talked about sports. We talked about his life and my life. And it made me realize that the people we serve are just the same as us. They're just going through different struggles. But we're all chasing the same mission, to be with Christ in heaven. We started the missions going to New Orleans. Katrina uh, devastated the city. The emphasis then was on, on building and getting people into their homes. Since then, the emphasis has been more the, the kids and the mission that they come down for. My church, we don't see a lot of kids in the church. It's mostly gray-haired people like me. So this is one program that they really want to participate in, and I'll do everything I can to, to help them do it. Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on the mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them. He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. In my missions experience, I was working on a house with a girl with cerebral palsy and she wanted to go out in her backyard to experience the nature, so we decided to build her a ramp. And when the ramp was done, her parents were so excited and she loved it. And now she can go outside and look at the water. And it was just a really good experience because her parents were so grateful for it and it made me know that I did something to help. Being on a mission trip makes me realize that not everybody has the privileges that I have at home and seeing the people appreciate the little things that we do here makes me want to appreciate the things that I have at home even more. It was great being on this mission trip, but the most important part was taking the experience and what I've learned back home. Uh, last year when we went down, there was a man who didn't have any siding on his house. And he was always embarrassed to sit out in front of it, but after we put all the siding up, he's so proud of it that he sits outside all the time now. And it's just cool to see the positive impact that we have on all the people down there. This is my fourth summer doing mission work, and it's taught me a lot of things, especially that coming out of my comfort zone is very important to understand uh, people and to learn about situations that other people live. Uh, it's also taught me that uh, evangelization isn't just going door to door and saying, have you heard the good news of Jesus and telling them to convert, but it's doing, doing things for people and just getting to know them. And evangelization is pouring yourself out for others and eventually uh, receiving it back from them and it makes uh, more of a community like uh, unites people um, unites people uh, in Christ and uh, as one family.